for many years we were focused on treating women with breast cancer, but now you know the dynamics have shifted to you know breast cancer prevention. We do know that a lot of people will end up with cancer because they have mutations. Based on the information that we collect, then we make decisions whether they will benefit from genetic testing. We assess patients based on their family history and also their personal history. So basically it's a blood test that we send out to genetics lab that are specialized to conduct those studies. We have patients return to the office for follow-up to review the results, whether it's positive or negative. If it's breast cancer, then we have to discuss, you know, can we do preventive surgery to reduce the risk of breast cancer? And this is effective. It can reduce the risk by up to 90%. And then, you know, that's, that will not be appropriate for all patients. You know, people make decisions based on what they are most comfortable with. And so when a patient does not want to have preventive surgeries, then we look at aggressive screening. And for breast cancer, it will be breast MRIs and mammograms once a year. And then, you know, we educate them on how to perform their breast self-exam every month. And we see them every six months to do clinical breast exam. The fact that they are now more aware of what to expect, of what their risk is, and they actually have made lifestyle changes to impact you know, their outcome, to me, that's huge. That's a big success.